Hi guys, we're still home, no Sunday school. And we miss you guys so much. Hopefully we'll see you soon, but for now, we're gonna do the story with the video camera. So let's start our lesson with praying together. Can you all please stand up? Get your three fingers ready so we can do the sign of the cross. Beep, 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 beep. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Please, God, take care of us. Watch over our moms and dads, our brothers and sisters, our titas and gitos, the whole family. Please, God, help us to be good boys and girls, and help all those people who are sick. Let them be better. Take care of the people who work in the hospitals, and watch over all of our abunas. Keep them safe. Please, God, open our church, because we miss it so much. And help the poor. And hear us when we say, with all thanksgiving, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Okay, so let's see what today's lesson is about. Do you see who this is a picture of? It was just his feast. It's Saint Mark. Saint Mark was one of Jesus' disciples, one of his helpers. And St. Mark used to always be with St. Peter, and they would go together and learn from Jesus. And St. Mark learned a lot from Jesus, and he knew how special Jesus was. Well, one day, St. Mark was walking with his dad, and they were right by the, the Jordan River, close to the desert, and all of a sudden, while St. Mark and his dad were walking, guess what came out? Lions! Two big, gigantic lions. And you know, lions love to eat people. And they roared. What does the lion say? I want to hear you. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Roar! roared at St. Mark and his dad. His father got so scared and he wanted to take care of St. Mark and he told him, run Mark, run! But St. Mark did not run when he saw the two lions. No. He said, oh Christ, son of God, protect us. His dad looked at him looked at the lions, and guess what happened to the lion? As soon as St. Mark said, Oh Christ, Son of God, protect us, the lions dropped dead. And St. Mark's dad couldn't believe it. Ready? Let's do it again. St. Mark and his dad were walking, and what came in front of them? Lions! Right? Big, strong, scary lions. St. Mark's dad said, run. But Mark said no to his daddy. He told him, oh Christ, son of God, protect us. And the two lions, dead. So, St. Mark's father looked at Mark and told him, that's Jesus that took care of us. That is God. I want to be baptized because that is who's going always to take care of us. And Mark said, absolutely. And he actually baptized him and baptized his whole family. St. Mark would always, always believe that God protected him. Just like God protects us, right? Whenever anything happens, who's taking care of us? God. Not that we're going to see any big, scary lions, 
But no matter what, God will take care of us. You know, St. Mark, he had a nice little house. And that's actually the house that the apostles stayed in when uh, Jesus died and the Holy Spirit came on them. That was the same house. St. Mark was a very, very good speaker. And he wanted to tell everybody about Jesus. So, after Jesus did die and went up to heaven, St. Mark and all the apostles would go and tell all the people about him. Well, do you guys see what I'm wearing on my feet? Sneakers. They didn't have sneakers back then. They had sandals. And St. Mark wore his sandals. And he walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked all over to tell people about Jesus. Well, guess what? He got a hole in one of his sandals. So what did he do? He went to a, sh a store, shop, that fixes shoes. That's somebody's job. The person who worked there, his name is Ananias. Back then, they didn't have like big fancy machines to fix shoes and sandals and sneakers. Ananias had a needle. See my needle? And Ananias was holding St. Mark's broken sandal and he started to, he was fixing it. Fixing his St. Mark's shoe. Fixing St. Mark's shoe. Fixing St. Mark's shoe. Well, guess what? This time he missed the shoe and got his thumb. So he's working, and Ennius is working on St. Mark's shoe, poked his finger, and it made a huge boo-boo. And Ennius screamed, oh, one God. So he's fixing, 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 poked his finger and said what? Oh, one God. St. Mark saw how bad, of a, how bad his finger got hurt, and he picked up some clay, put it on Ananias' finger, and he became all better. And Ananias said, how did you do that? And St. Mark told him, in the name of Jesus Christ. So Ananias asked St. Mark, Jesus, what about Jesus? Tell me more about Jesus. And St. Mark explained all about Jesus and taught him. Ananias knew that this was amazing, and he wanted to be baptized. And he brought his whole family, and they got baptized. So St. Mark was in Egypt when he hurt his, um, when his shoe was messed up and Ananias got hurt. And he told a lot of people in Egypt about Jesus. And he became very, very popular. And he built an actual church in Egypt. The very, very first church was in Egypt. Well, there are some people who don't like all this talk about Jesus. And they actually had to capture St. Mark after many years. And he became a martyr. He went up to heaven. But there were thousands and thousands of people who learned about Jesus from St. Mark. And St. Mark was always, always special for us. So, that's the story of St. Mark. And you can see here, there's the lion, and St. Mark is holding the Bible, because he actually wrote one of the Bible chapters. Now, homework. My favorite thing is for you guys to print out a picture or to draw a picture of a church because St. Mark built the first church. So it's up to you. Draw or print out and color a picture of the church. Now, second thing for homework is tomorrow is Mother's Day. So your next homework is to make a Mother's Day card. Get a flower from your backyard or 
something delicious to give to mommy. Chocolate, cookies, and if your mommy is healthy, a banana. It's up to you. But you have to give her a big hug, a big kiss, and wish her a happy Mother's Day. And we hope to see you guys really soon. Bye.